Hi, this is going to be a video about assigning MIDI note numbers in Drum Perfect Pro. This is really simple, and uh, something you, you might not know is that the left hand and the right hand can have different MIDI note numbers. So that's good. So uh, I'm going to use AUM to demonstrate this. I'll launch AUM. Recommend AUM if you don't have it. It's a great program. Put AUM here. And then we're going to assign, we're going to use the MIDI keyboard that comes with AUM. By default, the MIDI channel in Drum Perfect Pro is 10. And we'll assign the output to Drum Perfect Pro all, instru all instruments. And I think we'll leave the velocity and everything alone. Now, finding the note number. Uh, so let's find a bass drum. There it is. B1 and C2 are the bass drums, and D2 is the snare. Let's go look at that. Now, if you look to the lower right at the bottom, in that corner there, that square, and at the bottom of that, and just to the left in that box, you'll see MIDI between two brackets. That is the MIDI key, or the MIDI note number, or the MIDI MIDI key assignment. So this says B0, and this is for the kick. Let's go back, look at AUM. So for some reason, B0 is B1. So it appears that everything is off by an octave. I don't know why that is, and I don't know of a way to fix it. But, regardless of that, if you would like to assign note numbers, all you need to do is go to Drum Perfect, and down there where it shows that MIDI in the brackets, and then you see Learn right next to the note number, just hit Learn, turns yellow, and then whatever key note you press will become so let's move that uh, down. Yeah, see? And so you can hear it when it takes over. On the second key press, you'll hear it take over. Now if we go back to Drum Perfect Pro, you'll see it's A0. And then if we go back to AUM, it should be A1. And it is, because for some reason we're off by an octave. But anyway, that is all there is to setting a MIDI note number. Now, as long as the learn is on, see it's changed it, and uh, as long as you uh, have that on, it's gonna change it to whatever you wanna, whatever you hit. So you kinda have to go back and forth here and work through your instruments as you assign them. And again, as I said, you can, set, you can assign a, a separate note number to the right hand and the left hand. And that's basically it for MIDI note numbers. Now, if you do go to the settings, and go down to MIDI sources. You'll see it says hold to edit. There's a lot of hold functions in uh, Drum Perfect Pro. A lot of powerful stuff there. So if you hold on that, you can see that <clears throat> you have the ch channel assignments to receive. And you also have all these um, control no controller numbers, which is really, really powerful if you uh, want to use this uh, in a live situation, or you just want you have a controller that you'd like to 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 use with it to to sort of centralize your workflow. This is pretty much all self-explanatory. These also can be um, assigned to different controller numbers. Just just a long hold on them. About three seconds is a long hold, I think. And uh, that is a look at the powerful. MIDI functions. Of course, you have MIDI sources here while we're here. You'll see them appear if they're loaded in the background. They should appear here. And they can't, you, you can, you may have to look for them. You may have to page over and go down or go through them to find the newest source that you've added. And of course, you can set the clock source. So, uh, great stuff there. Powerful functions in Drone Perfect Pro. 
for MIDI Note Assignment. Thanks for watching.